Who went out of my room? What am I? It's on fire! It's the weirdest sunset ever. I've never seen it do that. Really. Houston, we have a problem. You're not safe. It's gonna be a bloodbath. You are a psycho. <gasps> Hey, what's up, y'all? Welcome back to another Bryce is Right. I hope y'all have all had a great freaking week, had a safe and fun 4th of July, and now having a great freaking weekend. We're going to finish it all off with a bang, of course, a little bit of Bryce is Right. Y'all know I brought the clips for y'all today you know, down in the deep, dark corners of TikTok. So uh, get ready for that creepy and freaky, that mind-blowing, head-spinning. It's going to make you rethink your reality. You know, before we get started, we got to go ahead and smash that like button for me. Get the algorithm back up. Go ahead and subscribe if you haven't so you don't miss out on any future content. Definitely leave your thoughts down in the comments below. Let us know what's up. Other than that, let's just go ahead and jump right in, y'all. Let's get it. Chupacabra Eagle. Super cop beagle. I don't know, man. That's beyond me. Tina, you fat lard, come get some dinner. Get the food. Man, if I knew these people, I'd be trying to cosplay Rick and Morty somehow. But I'm a little big to be either one of them. Probably be glory or something, you know. That's so cool. You son of a bitch! I'm in. Neat. I mean, it looks so similar to that, right? Pretty cool. Pretty cool. The real spaceship. Awesome. I guess that must be that Taurus B. Look, there's another one there. Look at what the fuck is that? That sounds like Seth Rogen. Yo, I think we're seeing some aliens. <laughs> we're looking at something here. I don't know what that is. <laughs> I tried, yeah. Is that a plane or what is that? It's like the Night Owl. It's a little we're ship. We're on the North Shore. We're trying know. to figure out what that is. Try to record it here. Hmm. I don't know, y'all. Yeah. Fire in the sky or something, or what? about to bust his superpower out but nope his superpower is dodging blades golly could you imagine if he wasn't wearing a you know hat that day or he wasn't allowed to wear a baseball cap to work <laughs> would have ended totally different Disgusting, man. The girls want to go in here and show other people, you know, like young. What an idiot! Oh, what a loser! You're showing anybody trying to show off that you're stealing stuff from Walmart for one, and also that you're eating it behind the racks. I'm not going to sit here and defend Walmart like they pay me a salary. But god damn, if you gonna be stealing shit, why are you posting it online? Exactly. It's just not a good look. And Dumb. all the people that are going to follow you and find that shit funny is people that you genuinely should not care about. Mm. When I see stuff like this, I realize people would do anything for clout. But behavior Sad, like but this used to get you shamed and clowned. Now it gets you millions of views and millions of likes. 
Shit is crazy. <laughs> it is insane. That's just so crazy and dumb. Like, how are you going to record yourself and put it online? Like, you were the person that turned you in. Like, do you not get that? You write it on yourself. It should be how not to do it. <laughs> it looks like it's from District 9. Is that a building or a spaceship? I don't know. Oh. It almost looks like a floating cross. And luckily it isn't upside down. Oh. It almost looks like one of them jellyfish UAPs we've been seeing. Hmm. <clears throat> Excuse me. I don't know what we got up there in the skies. Mm -mm -mm. Yo, this shit is so nope. out of pocket, bro. How do you nope. bring a python mm -mm. on the on nope. the train? I mean, the, oh, wait. No, that's two snakes. That's two snakes on the transit. I have had it with these motherfucking snakes on this motherfucking train. Bro, that is crazy. Like, look, they, I, I don't know, right? The the snakes might not bite, but, you know, they don't really look like those kind of snakes, you know? Like, for all what? I know, that snake could bite my face yes. off. Yes. And look at the way this lady's staring at the snake, like, oh, you joke, you, you, you know, like how you talk to your dog? I, I feel like that's how she was talking to the snake in her mind, mm -hmm. you know? And bro was just kind of like, damn, like, am I doing too much? Or yeah. Like, you know, but, I, hey. Maybe he needed to take him out for a walk. Maybe he was like, yo, they need to see the world. They're always inside, right? Like, take them on a ride. Show them, a show them around town, no. you know? Aura level plus a million. What is this? Damn, we got the spaceships galore today, right? Which one's the most real to y'all? That's the clearest UFO video I've ever seen. Shabbity Wishkies. We got some contenders today, y'all. Hey. I can't even bend over and touch my toes without straining. <laughs> Jealousy. Damn. See, if they would just, like, Unite like a e-bike, the electronic bike, with the pedals, and you'd have the invention right there. But how do you land that sucker? It'd probably take some big time skill. Ooh, I can see that going bad real quick. I've never seen it do that. No, it's just, it's like a, it looks like a Lego. Oh, it's just sitting in the water. It's a layer of fog. Are, you, a layer of water. are you kidding That's me? That's different. It looks like a pyramid. It looks fake. Whoa! I think it's a reflection or what? That's so weird. Intergalactic planetary planet. Wait, no, it looks like it, it looks like a boat. Wait, green flash, guys. We're gonna see it because it was so pink. It's not, it's not clear enough. 
Do you guys, there's a, there, the green flash exists, but it's only because when your eyes don't see that, that red, that orangey pink, it, it replaces yeah. it with the opposite on the color spectrum, which is green. That's why I you see, see green flash. I can see it happening right now. Yeah, so you can, you'll, you'll, you'll see yeah. a green flash because it's going to, all of a sudden it's going to disappear and then you'll see a green flash. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? I only see the orange from the sunset. So I think it would have to be like absence of life for that to happen. But I'm not really sure what she's talking about. If y'all know, let us know in the comments. And uh, RC chauffeur. So we gotta work smarter, not harder. Say what? He just ran out the back of the plane. No. So you don't have Copa on you said? No, he just jumped out the back of the plane. Uh, right. Would you like me to circle where he left at? Um, say that again. Would you like me to circle where he got out at or you got me on track? Uh, we still have you on track. Did, did you need something else? No, the dude literally jumped out the back of the plane without a parachute. I guess it's not that serious to that guy. Did you need to do something else, circle or something? Or? Do you understand the words that are coming out of my mouth? No, I need to land. I'm just making you aware you're going to have a body out where I just called you at. He just jumped out the back of the plane. Now come on, man. You're right. Did it continue on you heading 050? 050, 02. That's insane. The guy working in the tower just did not even care. Certainly, there have been times where, you just know, where they, just, there's no way we're hiring a white now. Just kind of yeah. unspoken. Hmm. Uh, there are times when it's spoken. But How would they say it? There's no way we're hiring a white male in school. Yeah, too much wine. <laughs> like straight to you? Yeah. Or, okay. Yeah. They'd be very careful how they message that to agents. According to wow. these videotapes, Disney blatantly discriminates against whites, white men in particular. To so the guy driving this truck, if it's small, just say that. Yeah, well, um. This oh, is yeah? awkward. If this is you, you better lower your mother tone when you're talking to me. It's my treasure. That's fine. Ooh. Everybody wants to be fast and furious until it actually happens. Man, he tries to slow as can be. Come on, man, get up on that grass. Oh, no, you done. It looks like Uncle Muscle won't be coming to the next barbecue. <laughs> uh. Yeah, they opened that door and started beating that car. He done. Lasers. <laughs> yeah. The green ones that yep. like shoot super far. Yep. There's videos of people that I saw just in South America that it looks like there's a star and they're shooting the laser at the star and then they put it down and then a green laser's pointing back at them. What? And they're like, what? And they're like laughing about it. What is that? And then like there's one where he's like in a window and he does it to a, what it looks like a star. Yeah. The star goes out. It's not obviously a star. It comes back and then shoots the green laser back at him. <gasps> what? Yeah. That would do that. That would. That would lose sleep forever yeah. is it reflecting it's in space yeah. <laughs> it, i'm just trying it, to look for a non-alien answer at that point i mean is it in space it, or is it like it could be like a drone, drone that, but it's like it's stagnant i'm willing to bet that even our government is like harvesting information but it's in south like, america oh was it but what is that man that's so strange it has to be it's i don't know yeah, that's yeah. weird it's got to, it's something super weird because that's i mean obviously that's not normal so like what is doing so it the, to pilots and yeah. guys go federal federal jail they track you down i don't know how they do it yeah but they get well, they, down. they have the infrared thing they can see that laser from miles away. Hmm. i wonder what's going on there so you can get that motherfucker to work 
typing on a freaking keyboard. <laughs> That's crazy. Wow. Hey, do what you gotta do. Things that my eighth graders have said to me. Are you in therapy? You seem like the type. Oh, damn. You look like my grandpa's couch. Yeah. What kind of couch is that? Thank That's you. Crazy. Now that the ops are gone, we can yap. A student got the answer right and yelled, Yeah, I felt that one in my nuggets. <laughs> what that even means is balls your pants look like trash bags sewn together ha ha trash bag pants I wonder if that was 80s day which I think I don't get why you write so much on my rough draft I'm not reading all that bruh for real for real Damn, she looks freaking distraught. Miss Dugan, the toilet paper in this school sucks. I just got dookie on my hand. Get used to it and used to sink like the rest of us. Come on. Fat ass alert. Ooh. Bitch, I'm about to ball this. That one ended up being about me. Um, I was eating some crackers. Oh. <laughs> Miss Dugan, you don't want to know what I say about you behind your back or you'd quit your job. You bet your ass I do. These people are rough. And finally, how does it feel to be the only unmarried teacher in this school? I'll be all right. I'm in a glass case of emotion. Teachers all. Thank you. Dang man, she's going through it, y'all. Give her a be nice. <laughs> she's like 11, almost eleven. Answer the door right now. But if you'd like to leave a message, you can do it now. Is there anybody home who needs help? Please, I just need to make a phone call to my job so they can come get me. And I just got stranded out here, please. Your shirt's ripped, like you got beat up. I'm gonna walk out the house down the road just to let you know. Y'all, please let me know. I just need somebody to answer me right now because my mom answered me earlier. And a lot of stuff just happened just there. Hey, y'all, please let me know. Because this happened the night before 4th of July. I just wanted to get y'all's opinion. Y'all know how crazy it is in the world today. Y'all know how scary movies are starting these days. Also, I know some people want to help. So let me know if y'all would have answered the door and tried to help this dude. Or if y'all would have called the police immediately. Police got called in this situation. This is so bad and heartbreaking. This was from a live stream in Jamaica. And if you look at this little makeshift raft right here, you'll see a whole bunch of animals on it. Houston, we have a you're problem. not safe. California, you're not safe either. We'll get into it in a minute. One commenter said that he was able to see a whole bunch of dogs just swimming in this massive thing of water, um, all trying to just stay alive. Like, it's torn up That's there. That's horrible. There is one kid that went to get a ball, and he got just pulled away by the water. I mean, this is literally insane. Houston, we'll get to you in a minute. The West Coast in the next 10 days are going to see temperatures in the 120s. The 120s, they are saying people are going to unalive. People are going to pass away from the sea. We have seen literal world-breaking things happen over and over and over again the last few months. Which is the exact reason that Hurricane Barrel is so terrible with the astronomically hot waters. Hmm. More and more and more models are showing it's going to curve up and it's going to slam in Texas. I don't think we have yet to see a hurricane that can heal itself so quickly like Hurricane Barrel is. 
but it's a four right now when crossing Jamaica. When it gets back in this water, really warm water, it's going to power up again before it hits whatever it hits. And I'm telling you, it feels like Texas. Houston in particular. And for a moment there, it even seemed like the hurricane was going to split into two separate hurricanes. And we almost saw another eye forming. This all-around stuff we just never see. I remember hurricane wow. season just started and summer just started. We have seen nothing yet. The hurricane gigabytes. Uh, hurricane season was over. Oh, hmm. Oh. Bro, what are you doing, man? What are you doing? Ooh, that got me. That shit too damn loud, bro. That shit too fucking loud, man. Hell, bro. That shit I was he under the bed. Loud, I guess he was just pranking him. He's hopped out of bed ready for school. All you need is the J's and you're ready to go, huh? Let's go shake it off. That's the jam, huh? Oh, oh, not to see the Why did it look like he was breaking down a tackle, y'all? He was... Ah, Lee, that's funny. Damn. These kids are going through it. <laughs> the heck is that? Looks like a... Lombardi trophy or something. The ghost sheet over, or like a sheet over it. What is this whistling? Why did it flash? And then it like flew away. Huh. This sounds creepy. In the following video, a man leaves his house before heading over to his car. At first, it appears that the video is nothing more than just random footage of a man leaving his home. While it may seem like that, it's what happens later that left him and his family completely unnerved. Now this footage was posted by the man's wife, who's known as Lisa Miller. Both she and her husband have a small family that live in the suburbs. But this small family was recently made smaller, as Lisa had just lost her father. It isn't clear as to how he passed, but she'll always remember him for whistling all the time. As Lisa mentions, he would always tell her to whistle if she ever needed him. Although she can't do that now, this recording has shown her that she doesn't have to. According to Lisa, it appears that he hasn't left. This is what was caught. Yeah, he was whistling, whistling in that last video. How did that? Damn, that was a lot of keys. Hmm. That could totally be the husband, though, right? Jeff Gordon? Maybe not. The sound of someone whistling is heard clear as day on camera. Despite being quite loud, it appears that Lisa's husband didn't hear the whistle. But whether he had heard it or not doesn't matter to Lisa. The camera had caught it, and that alone has given her sufficient evidence to believe that her father is still here. Although she has yet to come up with an explanation, she prefers not to, as what was captured has helped her grieve over his death. 
So then, just who or what had whistled? Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> I don't know. Damn, Ricky Bobby. Chill out. Uh, Bobby Boucher's girl. <laughs> she done tuned it up. Hey, and by the way, I hope you like what I did to y'all lawnmower. He said, I've only had two beers, officer. Uh oh. Piled up. One dude was just like, got him. <laughs> I think ideas are an unrecognized life form. This is what yeah. I think. I think creativity is very, a very strange thing. Like, what is it? Where is it coming from? Where do ideas come from? Where's a great song come from? Where's a great concept for a book come from? It comes from your mind, right? Your, everything was an idea that we got and then we worked at it and manifested it into form. Yeah. And if the universe has a driving force, when it comes to intelligent life, that driving force seems to be creating things. Yeah. And I have a feeling that ideas themselves are almost like a life form that injects itself into human consciousness and then encourages and guides people to do things, to yeah. make things. And then they appear and those things encourage more people to make more things. Yeah. And I think it works that way with music. I think that works that way with comedy. It works that way with you know, literature, with pretty much everything. Yeah. Everything that's really good encourages more people to do those things. And then more things happen yeah. and better things get made. This really resonates with me. It's like the uh, invention ghost or God comes down and kind of entangles and leaves a seed in you. Or does it with multiple people and kind of leaves it up to you to like, all right, whichever one of y'all want to act on this one first. So Rogan, you're on to something. I've been thinking that my whole life. And I think that's how these things will themselves into existence. They do it through our minds. Like almost spiritual? I don't know if I like that word because it's been co-opted by hippie <laughs> chicks <laughs> and dudes pretending to be spiritual to try to get laid. Yeah, yeah. 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 I think yeah. a lot of spiritual hippies are being honest. Yeah. Girls are being honest. The guys are probably yeah. 80% of them are not being honest. <laughs> um, but yeah, whatever that word means. This is crazy. It's something. That there's something more to it Damn. than this sort of reductionist view of what an idea yeah. is. And if someone says, what's your proof? You know, we have evidence of... I want to be on the Joe Rogan podcast so bad. Ooh, that's a what a crock video. of shit! Run fast. Is that a wolf? Take a closer look and see what the heck was in the water. Let's see. What he gets the witness there. states he gets near as close as ten feet to the creature when his wife what snaps his photos. They still don't know what it is. It's Some say it's a dragon. Some say it's the infamous. Hey, do y'all not find it weird that a country with $35 trillion in debt is the one that's giving us a credit score? Could you imagine if somebody with like a three, 400 credit score tried to give you credit advice or say, All right, I'm going to be the one that decides how much your credit score is going to be valued at. And then say, uh, this is how much money you're going to be given on credit. Don't push it, fucker. Make it make sense. Please. Oh, there backwards. it is again. Oh, there it is. Whoa, there look at that. It's, Whoa, you're right. it's, it's like it's you got your hand behind it. It's taking the light and, and no it's way. right here in front of me. Yeah. yeah. You see it? Wow. I don't know what. Yeah, you can see it from every angle. Every angle. That. That's wow. it, Cammy. This is What's it. Going on here? So, the light. Look at this. Wow. Does anybody know what's going on here? Oh, we're, we're, there's, there's a hologram. There's another hologram down there. Wait, wait, wait. Keep doing oh, it, guys. Yeah. Keep doing it. Right here. Oh, yeah. It's just what you're and doing. And then it goes right away. Right you got to be at the right, 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 right there. Right there. And I, so that's what the 
the sun and moon are doing. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. Apparently. Yeah. So. Well, that's what the yeah. sun and yeah. moon are doing. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh. 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 That is amazing. I thought this was some kind of invention. Exactly. Exactly. No matter where you're at. Yes. Because it's cold. All the light tells you itself is right. Ah. It's different. Damn. She can not even go get you some of this girl. Ball that's head. That's why you don't cheat. He probably filmed it like that girl did at Walmart. I know we all make mistakes and are young and dumb. I've made mistakes too, but don't cheat. So one word of advice I'll give y'all. Don't do it, people. The following footage is a direct account, witness account from a security guard who was on duty in Las Vegas, Nevada. It was the end of a shift. The area was closing down and he was going to tell this gentleman he needed to leave the area. He said that when he approached the man, he was acting erratically and he was talking to himself, but it's when he circled to the front of him that completely spooked him. He swears that this man's eyes were completely black. There was no pupil. You couldn't see the white. They were solid black. And he firmly believes this man was actually possessed. As I stated, these are his witness videos from when he was on duty. Take a look at this footage and tell me what you think. All right, so this is the story I confronted a possessed man of the job, seen a dude tell him to leave we're closing up he wouldn't leave so you know i tell people leave all the time i walk up to this man and ask him like hey man i know you hear me talking to you you need to leave i walk around i look at his face and he has no eyes they're black i say hey, man you do your dog mm -hmm. yeah. i'm good i only get yeah. paid <laughs> i went back to work well mind i can get paid 18 dollars an hour this dude had no eyes. I'm telling you. Look at this fool. Yeah, I'm good. Be a thing, bro. Dude was possessed. <laughs> hey, he, he's probably on drugs, but hopefully he got some help. Hmm. <laughs> It's dangerous. Wish more people could get the right, help so that they the deserve. Angle. But do you see how he's moving? He's moving in like a, a demonic manner. Yes. And I'm black. I mean, that means we separate. Me, hmm? we, we disconnect. We, we rearrange. We be a part. We, we are not a part of it. And I mean... So, nope, I don't know what you mean. Eyeballs are black, no white in them. The eyeballs, not the eye sockets. That's creepy. I don't know what I would do. I'd probably let it be too. <laughs> oh, what do we got here? almost kind of look like the Big Dipper, but it'd be too hard to see that in the daytime, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's a movie called Requiem for a Dream. Oh, that thing's been moving. The 
Damn, that dude's got some skill with whatever kind of ball and cup thing that is. Reminds me of them sticks. Y'all remember them sticks people used to? They would have another <laughs> stick with these little, like, hairy things on them. Or like, uh... But there's too much fireworks in there. He's oh, not doing that. Not he's not doing that. Right, he, he's not doing that. Oh, I can hear him. What is going on? Oh my on? god! It's on fire! That's crazy. Oh my god. I think that's real. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! That's crazy. Mm. Oh, my mm. oh my god! Shit, no one's on fire! All the good ones get treated like. Firework in that room. Sorry, girl. You deserve better. Who had a friend just as tall as you, but they lived a thousand mm. miles away. On a sunny day, your shadows would be the very same length. Because unlike here, on a spherical Earth, the sun's rays would hit both of you at the same angle. And if you two were to meet up, traveling would turn out very different. Let's take a map introduced by the Flat Earth Society. Yeah, the one that shows the Arctic at the center and Antarctica as an ice wall around the edges. <laughs> In this world, it would take you 32 hours to fly from Australia to Argentina. Did we mention there'd be no GPS? Satellites wouldn't be able to orbit a flat Earth, leaving humanity with no navigation and no synchronized time. This means no ATMs, no credit cards, no high-speed stock market transactions. On the bright side, with a good pair of binoculars, you could see Dubai's Burj Khalifa from any part of the flat world. But let's be honest, you don't need to build your own rocket to see that the Earth is not that flat. Good points. I'm sorry, the but... evidence is all around us. Hey, you had a friend just as tall just as you. A humble Bluetooth device has oh successfully connected to a satellite in orbit crazy. 600 kilometers away. It's Hold insane. up. Wait a minute. Wow. What's insane about this story is it wasn't a special built, high powered, or radically different Bluetooth Jeez. device. It was a regular, basic 3.5 millimeter <laughs> off the shelf type of device that you could wow. buy today. And it connected to a literal satellite in space from Seattle, uh, well, Seattle to space, at, at about 600 kilometers, which for those of mm. you that are more familiar with Freedom Units is about 375 miles away. <laughs> Plus clouds and debris and uh, <laughs> space dust and whatever else is going on up there. This is kind of insane. I thought that this was impossible, no. but it's not. There's one person in this car not wearing a seatbelt. Let's take a look. Oh man, that looks pretty rough. Let's slow it down. Guys, always wear your seatbelt. It makes a difference. No. No way. It's impossible, right? How's that? Yeah. What? Someone explain that. Hey, thank y'all so much for tuning in to another Bryce is Right. Hope y'all have a great rest of y'all's freaking weekend. Hopefully this will finish y'all off the right way. Um, but I'm glad I finally got this one out to y'all. Sorry to go ahead and take the Friday off. But it was well overdue and I uh, had to enjoy my birthday week. Uh, so thank y'all once again for everything y'all do. So glad that y'all are here supporting me. Let's, uh, let's 
keep it going y'all so go ahead and smash that like button for me let's get the algorithm way up subscribe if you haven't so you don't miss out on any future content and definitely leave your thoughts in the comments below let us know what's up other than that we will see y'all next time all right y'all peace hello hello i said don't disturb you i'm cleaning my room